It's Bonnie. Happy Tuesday. I am back. It's so pretty outside. The leaves are almost out. I'm looking outside right now and um, I can see like all green. So um, I'm in a summery mood. I painted my nails uh, blue, light blue to match my shirt. <laughs> I need some more summer shirts, by the way. I got to get some. This one is really pretty. I like this one. I think I got this one at Kohl's. So I got a package from Bath and Body Works uh, about an hour ago, and I got the Mother's Day tote. So I'm actually going to unbag the Mother's Day tote and um, show you what's inside. It comes wrapped in plastic, and this is actually a purchase with purchase from Bath and Body Works. Now, there have been a lot of totes this year. Uh, Check it out. Yankee, this is actually a really nice tote. Yankee did the Vera Bradley um, collab. I love this tote. This one's really pretty. Avon had a really pretty tote. It had like uh, red and black like poppies. Really beautiful. Bath and Body Works went with a more uh, subdued tote this year. They did the all blue. And it's got the, I like the bottom though. Check it out. It's got the um, basket weave on the bottom. So, Price went up this year, though. You had to spend 40 and then the tote was another 45 unless you got it the first day, which I did, but nothing was on sale. So I don't think I got a really good deal necessarily. But right now, you're going to pay like $95 to get the tote and all your other stuff. I feel like the tote um, is a really good quality this year. I'm so glad Bath & Body Works did bring the totes back. I don't like the box. The tote is like more of a collectible. It says Bath and Body Works in gold, little heart. But I feel like this is a nice heavyweight canvas. So I like the bag. I do like the bag. I gotta say, however, oh my gosh, I just realized this. You know, <laughs> there's a box inside the bag. I didn't realize that's how they did it. Okay, wow. <laughs> so what's funny is when you unpack it, there's, um literally a box inside. So this is what the boxes usually look like, only this one doesn't have any uh, pretty decoration on it. <laughs> they should have done a little bit, like, I don't know, stylize the box. Maybe put some, you know, like a basket weave on here. It's a little boring, I gotta say, the box. So I think the problem with the Mother's Day box tote this year is that gingham, which is the main scent, in the box was so anticipated and popular and there were so many sales. A lot of people already got the Gingham Gorgeous early on. This is beautiful. It's a strawberry peach floral. I think this is still really popular. People are loving it. And you may want to get it, you know, with the Mother's Day tote, but I think a lot of people are just waiting for summer now. Um, I think the single wick uh, wasn't too exciting. We got the standard Gingham, which I'm not overly crazy about. I think it would have been more fun if they had done, oops, I just got the lid stuck, you guys. <laughs> if they had done uh, the candle in Gingham Vibrant, I think it would have been a lot more interesting if they had mixed Gingham Vibrant and Gingham Fresh in here and you had all three. Uh, we also got the Bath Fizzy. I'm going to do this in the sink just to show you what these do. Um, this is a Bath Fizzy fizzy as opposed to like a bath bomb that Lush has. So it's a little bit more of a fast fizzer. And these are a little bit oilier, but um, a lot of people like them. So we got that. We got the shower gel, which I'll absolutely use. What's interesting is we got the silver tops. Uh, it looks weird with the silver top though, doesn't it? I don't know why. It just looks strange. <laughs> and then we got a lotion. And then we got some cardboard. And then we got um, the Gingham Gorgeous candle. The candle's really pretty. I burned uh, my other Gingham Gorgeous candle. It is gorgeous. Let me get rid of this. <laughs> and then we got a puff. Uh, this is a smaller puff than usual. This looks smaller. I don't know. Maybe it's just not puffed out. Um, I like these. This is always a good thing to have. So is this a good deal? Um, you know what? It really depends on whether or not you want more Gingham Gorgeous and you want the tote. I mean, obviously, if you're going to spend $40 and you're looking for like a Mother's Day present, which by the way, Mother's Day is this weekend, and you want to get yourself $40 worth of stuff and then give this off to your mother or your best friend, um, anybody, 
you know, it makes a good gift. I think it's impressive to see this as a gift. Um, I got it to show you guys. I don't know if I was an average consumer, if I would get this, because like I said, I already have all of the gingham gorgeous, and I actually like the pink top a lot better, so I would have just bought it with the pink top, <laughs> because it's prettier. Do I have a pink top handy right here? I don't think I do, right in front of me. Um, so I'm kind of like, eh. The candle is beautiful. I would have preferred like a gingham vibrant. Um, and the price went up a little bit. We we added another five dollars, but you know, we got the tote this year instead of uh the box. I think I'm most excited about the tote, honestly. I, I collect the Bath and Body Rich totes, and I think this is a really nice one. So I'm excited about the actual tote. So anyway, uh that is the Mother's Day bag for uh this year let me know what you think i'm really hoping in the fall like uh the christmas advent calendar or you know maybe they do a, a different thing like remember the snowman i would love to see the snowman something different that's what i'm hoping uh for christmas so we shall see christmas is gonna be here sooner than we think <laughs> anyway let me know what you think of the mother's day tote i will see you guys later bye bye